and vegetables can spoil quickly. It's so disappointing. So here with a breakdown and how and the science to keeping your fresh vegetables and fruits fresh is Dan Kohler. That's right. All right, why, why do they turn so rotten so fast? Well, first I want to talk about a term that we toss around called mealy, right? Have you all heard of that? Yes. Mealy fruit. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration of what mealy fruit actually is. Can everyone put their arms around your neighbors here? Yes. Great. So when we're talking about fruit, fruit Fruit cells are starch, they're pectin, and all these things change as something becomes ripe. So right now, all of these people, they're cells in a piece of fruit. And right now, you're not ripe. Now, as you become ripe, the starch is going to change to sugar. So could you start swaying back and forth for me? Ah, uh, this is nice. This is a good piece of fruit. The, okay, yeah. The starch is starting to loosen up. We've got sugar. Now, the pectin, which are your arms around each other, that's the walls between the cells. The walls are going to loosen a little bit. Okay, so you, just a little bit. Oh. And now you can sway in different directions from each other oh, even, right? This is perfect stop fruit. You, now she this <laughs> is perfectly ripened fruit. Now, stop. Perfectly back. ripened? Perfectly ripened. Okay. Now, oh. arms around each other. This is what happens when fruit is mealy. Okay, okay. So back to the beginning. When it's unripe, now, before the starch changed to sugar and you started to sway, right? Now the starch isn't going to change to sugar. So you're all individual cells. You're just stuck there, okay? And the pectin, the walls between the cells, completely dissolves. Drop your arms. Thanks. So right now, you are, you are mealy fruit, right? You're individual cells that have not changed to sugar, and you are, you're just stuck there. There's nothing connecting you. So when you oh. bite into mealy fruit, this is what you have. It's something that's soft, but is not sweet. It it's something good. that's it tender, but is floury. It's not juicy. So that's what we're talking about when right. we say mealy fruit. But How do you avoid that? Yes. I'm sorry for Peaches that. are the prime... Uh, uh, Culprit. By the way, that was summer. really awesome. Yeah. I, that just yeah. made so much sense. <laughs> yes. Never so, look at fruit the same way. So right? how, do we get, how do we get peaches? Peaches can ripen off the vine, which mm. means that after you pick them, they continue to ripen. So they're picked when they're still green, and they're transported somewhere around 36 degrees to your grocery store. When they get to your grocery store, they're brought up to temperature, and then you buy them. When you buy them, what you have to remember is to let them ripen fully on your counter at room temperature. Mm. If you don't let them ripen fully when you get them home and put them in your refrigerator somewhere between 40 and 50 degrees, that's when this cellular breakdown happens. The pectin drops, the starch doesn't convert to sugar, and you get these dry cells. Well, I, when I take them home and I sit them down and to let them ripen, the bottom of it seems to ripen, ripen quicker, and it, I don't, it gets juicy and rotten Okay. before the rest of the peach. Sure. Now, in, in that case, something you want to remember, you can actually turn these, you know, once oh, a day, okay. you, can, you can give it a oh, right. rotation. But if your fruit is, is becoming rotten at home when you buy it, uh -huh. this might be the fault of your grocer. So something to remember when you're buying fruit, the closer to your home that you're buying it, the better. Because when a grocer buys it, think about this. They're getting it from a farm somewhere in America. The farm is putting it on a truck. The farm is refrigerating it first. Then they're putting it on a truck. That truck is refrigerating, refrigerated. That truck might move to another truck, and then that truck is delivering it to your grocer. The more refrigeration zones your fruit has to travel through, the higher the rate of mealiness. Huh. Huh. So, moving on down the line, other things that can become mealy or spoiled easily. Melons. Melon. Yep. How do you know which one is ripe and which one to keep in the refrigerator? Knock, knock. Because this is all about temperature yeah. control right now. We have to look at these in two camps. Melons really are either smooth-skinned or they're the netted skin, right? Right. That's what we've got here. Smooth-skinned, for the most part, ripen on the vine, which means by the time they're picked, they are as ripe as they're ever going to get. So you can throw a watermelon in the refrigerator. It's not going to get mealy. It's not going to change at all from the minute it's plucked. Cantaloupe, however, that netted skin, these continue to ripen off the vine. So even if you've picked it and it's not necessarily as sweet as you want it to be, remember, keep that at room temperature. Mm. It will still continue to develop some of those sugars. The starch will break down. That's what we're looking for. How do you know when to open it up and it's ready? Yeah. Ah, your nose knows. Smell it? Yeah. Oh, really? The yeah. Cantaloupes you can smell. Cantaloupes you should smell. The thing, I mean, the thing about summer fruit is that when you bring this home and it ripens, your kitchen should smell like fruit, right. okay? You shouldn't have to just lift it up to your nose and smell it. You should be able to smell it from over here. I can mm -hmm. smell it. Should be that, wow. It should be that ripe. It should be really bursting with these, with these volatiles, these chemicals mm -hmm. that produce what we smell. Well, when do the, where do those little black little flies come from? Well, I know it. I, I, know just it. Can't I do that when you can smell it, Here's then the fill with those bugs. Flies. Here's the thing about fruit Gosh. Flies. They are a problem, and sometimes you just have to live with them. And there goes one. <laughs> I just got it. We have cucumbers. All right, yeah. so cucumbers are actually tropical fruit along with peppers mm -hmm. and eggplant. They have their seeds inside. These you can keep at room temperature for a couple days. You can even put them in your crisper, but not too cold, right? So this is why you've got a drawer at the bottom of your refrigerator. 
put your cucumbers in there. You don't want too much humidity. You don't want too cold. Mm -hmm. Basil is shocking as an herb. How do we keep most herbs? Anyone know? Do you keep them? Yeah. Yeah. You water them. Put them in the refrigerator in a little glass water. of water. water. That keeps yeah. them very fresh. Basil is the one exception yeah. to that rule. When you bring fresh basil home this summer, leave it on your counter. If you put basil in your refrigerator, it will turn black yeah. like a banana. True. Peel. It does. Yeah. 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 It loses a lot of those uh, aromas. You just a lot keep of it aroma. on the counter with. Do you put water in it in a little glass? Well, if glass? you've got, I mean, if you've got a, a plant. Pot. Well, yeah, yeah I, I have. But, yeah, that, you but. could keep a little bit of water in a plant, or honestly. Uh, maybe a damp paper towel, wrap it, and, yeah. and just leave it on your countertop. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, and use these things as quickly as possible. Yes. Right. I Wonderful. always thought the reason that they became mealy is because you put it in the refrigerator. Yeah. I didn't realize they don't. Well, they, they, if you stop the ripening process by putting it in your refrigerator, that's why I said with peaches, yeah. bring them home, let them ripen completely before you put them in your refrigerator. And then they don't, they're not mealy. Though. Correct. Hmm. Correct. Wonderful. More information uh, that you, you can get from Dan by going to renegadekitchen.com. Once again, another mind-blowing segment. We're coming back. Uh, virtually going inside a patient's skull to experience the latest brain surgery techniques. Do not miss this.